Antoine Augustin Calmet, OSB, a French Benedictine monk, was born at Emircute Nil La Horn, then in the Duchy of Bar, part of the Holy Roman Empire. Calmet was a pious monk as well as a learned man, and one of the most distinguished members of the Congregation of Saint Van. In recognition of these qualities he was elected prior of Lay Saint Christophe in 1715, abbot of Saint Leopold at Nancy in 1718, and of Saint Juan Zabi in 1729. He was twice entrusted with the office of abbot general of the congregation. Pope Benedict XIII wished to confer episcopal dignity upon him, but his humility could not be brought to accept the honor. Calmet was greatly admired by the philosopher Voltaire, who visited the abbey on several occasions. He died at saint Juan's Abbey, in the Vosges, near saint Die Acute, on 25 October 1757. Work Comments on the Bible Calmet was educated at the Benedictine Priory of Broy in the town of Commercy, and in 1688 joined the same order at the Abbey of St. Mansui at Toul, where he was admitted to profession on 23 October of the following year. After his ordination, 17 March 1696, he was appointed to teach philosophy and theology at the Abbey of Moyen Brigia. Here, with the help of his brethren, he began to gather the material for his commentary of the Bible, which he completed at Munster in Alsace where he was sent in 1704 as Sir Prior and Professor of Biblical Exegesis. The first volume appeared in Paris in 1707 with the title Commentaire littéral sur Taus les livres de l'Ancien et du Nouveau Testaments, the last div, the 23 quarto volumes owing to various delays, was published only in 1716. To satisfy the demand for the work a second edition in 26 volumes quarto was issued 1714 to 1720, and a third, enlarged, edition in nine volumes folio 1724 to 1726. A Latin translation by J. D. Mansi was published at Lucca, 1730 to 1738, in nine folio volumes, with new editions at Augsburg and Würzburg. Another Latin translation by F. Becelli appeared at Venice and Frankfurt. This shows how much the commentary was esteemed. But while it was received with high praise, even by Protestants, critics were not wanting, among whom may be mentioned the oratorian Richard Simon. It cannot be denied that in spite of its merits and great erudition it is in some respects open to criticism. Difficult passages are often passed over lightly, and too frequently different explanations of a text are set down without a hint to the reader as to which is the right or preferable one. The work inaugurated a new method of exegesis. Its author departed from the custom of giving allegorical and tropological interpretations besides the literal. The most valuable part of the commentary were the introductory prefaces to the several books and 114 learned dissertations on special topics. These he published separately with 19 new ones in three volumes. Under the title Dissertations Keep Pervent Server de Pro Legomena Solera Critia Saint. The collection met with such success that two editions were printed at Amsterdam in 1722, the title being changed to Traces d'Antiquites S.A.C.R.E. Acutes A. Profanes. It was translated into English, Latin, Dutch, German and Italian. Other works in the meanwhile he had prepared two other works closely connected with biblical exegesis. Histoire de l'Ancien et du Nouveau Testament et des Juifs, which went through several editions, and was translated into English, German and Latin, Dictionnaire historique, critique, chronologique, géographique et littéral de la Bible, a supplement was added in 1728. An improved and enlarged edition in four folio volumes was published in 1730, which has several times been reprinted, the last time in Min. Encyclopédie Théologique, IV, it, too, was translated into Latin and the principal European languages. 
The English translation by Doyley and John Colson, revised and with additions by Taylor, went through many editions in a larger and compendious form. In his later years Calmet published some further biblical dissertations in the Bible events. Among his other published works may be mentioned. Histoire universelle sacrée et profane, depuis le commencement du monde du square nos jours, in which he follows the ideas enunciated in Bossuet's discourse sur l'histoire universelle, histoire ecclesiastique et civile de la Lorraine, of great value for the history of that province, Bibliothèque Lorraine, containing his autobiography, Commentaire littéral historique et moral sur la Regal de Saint Benoit. His two-volume study, Treaty on the Apparitions of Spirits and Vampires, or Ghosts of Hungary, Moravia, and C., published in 1751, ambiguously considered the possibility of the existence of vampires, although not stating it explicitly. Calmet wrote a noted history of the Duchy of Lorraine, as well as a history of the Abbey of St. Juan's, which was still in manuscript form at the time of his death. Bibliography. Commentaire littéral sur Taus les livres de l'Ancien et du Nouveau Testament's introductory prefaces published separately. Dissertations qui pervent serve de prolegomena sur la saint. Dictionarium, historicum, criticum, chronologicum, geographicum, biblicum, latinized literus traditum maj. Dom. Mansi the Latin translation of Karma's 1720 dictionary translated by Giovanni Domenico Mansi. Histoire de l'Ancien et du Nouveau Testament a des Juifs. Treaty on the Apparitions of Spirits and Vampires, or Ghosts of Hungary, Moravia, and C. A study published in 1751. Dissertations in the Bible events Histoire universelle sacrée et profane, depuis le commencement du monde du square nos jours. Histoire ecclesiastique et civile de la Lorraine, Bibliothèque Lorraine. Commentaire littéral historique et moral sur la Regal de Saint Benoit.